hello all the readers of Cross Country Rally News. Uh, here is our international team, well, part of it. Uh, me, uh, Marina, and I am now in France, uh, and uh, Rita. Bonjour, Rita. Bonjour and hello, everyone. Is from Hungary. And uh, we decided to discuss uh, briefly the upcoming event, uh, Qatar International Baja, uh, our chief reporter. Uh, Sveta has already uh, arrived there, uh, so we are waiting to hear from her. And um, there are a few interesting stories, which, by the way, uh, we've been uh, covering on our Telegram channel. Uh, Rita, what would you start with? Uh, what is the most, I don't know, important or interesting from your point of view? Uh, entry list? Uh, yes, maybe the entry is that uh, we have a very nice field uh, enter this year because uh, there are uh, 47 cars, 51 bikes and four quads entered. And uh, last year it was only 28 cars, uh, 29 bikes and six quads. So it's, it's uh, quite a hike uh, from one year to the other. And uh, all these crews entered this year are from uh, 31 different nations. And uh, this is an all-time record for this event, as far as I know. And uh, if we are talking about the number of participants and trying to compare it to the last year, uh, should we, I don't know, take into account that last year it was still affected by all this COVID situation and it affected businesses and finances? What, what do you think about it? Uh, maybe, but I think it's uh, more affected by uh, the fact that this year, last year it was only Middle East Cup for Bahas, and uh, this year it's also in the Baha World Cup, and and of course uh, much more crews are interested in that. And uh, also the organizers this year went an extra mile, and uh, they did not only make the the entries free, uh, but also paid for the crews, hotels, and and the, I think also flight. And uh, this matters. This definitely matters for many teams. Well, it's awesome, yeah. <laughs> when it's when it's free of charge, we buy. <laughs> well, I don't think it's well free of charge, yes, because there are lots of other costs. But yeah, sure, but but still a big cap for the teams. I I think it's it, it, it's it's a, like a present. Uh, so, but are there uh, any big names missing from the entry list? Yes, on the one hand, Yazid Araji, of course. Uh, uh, he was in uh, Abu Dhabi Design Challenge, he won, uh, but now he's skiing. At least according to his uh, post on the social media, he's skiing in France. So he's not on the entry list. Well, he's very brave, and, yeah? He's, yes. he's, he's very brave considering what happened to him before. Yes. Uh, and one other also from Saudi Arabia, yes, he said them because uh, we don't know the reason, but uh, He's uh, not even on the entry list, if uh, I remember well. Uh, and he wasn't uh, at the start in Abu Dhabi Desert Challenge, but uh, then he was on the entry list. But mm -hmm. now he's missing completely, and uh, we don't know the reason. We hope to have him back for the next round. Okay, so... And, uh, uh, by mm -hmm. the way, uh, he's the Middle East uh, Cup leader, so it's, it's even more surprising that he's not here. So no Yazid, uh, no Yasser Satan. Uh, so who is on the list? Uh, well, shall we start with what T1, T1 Plus? Uh, yes, with T1 Plus maybe. Uh, of course, the the three main contenders are uh, the the big one. The big biggest name is Nasser Lalatia. This goes without question, I think, in Qatar. Uh, and also with Toyota, Juan Cruz Jacopini, who is a young driver, but uh, but already uh, has some experience and, and uh, has the speed. And uh, he's learning a lot, I think. And uh, he's a very good driver. And on the other hand, uh, from the mini side, uh, a big return, practically. OK, it's, uh, he's not returning now, but, uh, but uh, Christoph Holoscic, uh, he's, I think, one of the biggest names. So he always should be considered uh, as a top contender. Let's see what he can do against uh, Nasser in, in his home track. So, so no, an easy race for Nasser, we? Oui? No. Uh, and other surprise uh, that Dennis Trotto will drive a Toyota. And uh, I think in the Dakar and maybe also in Abu Dhabi, we saw him in a, in a Mini. Oui. So yes, it, it's, I think it's the first time for him in Toyota. 
Probably yes. Okay, so um, Nasser Yakotini, uh, Halovchits, uh, no Krotov. Uh, who else? Uh, two Hello. bikes from China, and, and also Ronan Shabo uh, with Toyota, who is a very experienced di- driver and and uh, really really fast. Okay, but the, the, there was, or we can say is, uh, also an interest, uh, an interesting story about uh, Nasser uh, Kar, uh, because as uh, someone wrote in the comments in the chat, and uh, by the way, uh, we invite everyone in our group chat because uh, you can ask their questions you want, you can comment on news or in events, you can, I don't know, share your news, your thoughts on cross-country rally world, but lots of possibilities, so welcome. Uh, so back to the to the Nasser car. Uh, so looks like by the comments uh, that occurred not only to me that uh, uh, when we learned that uh, Yazid is not coming, to the Qatar Baja, maybe it's obvious. Okay, maybe it's not obvious, but uh, definitely it's easier and cheaper uh, to use his car than to, to send uh, a car of uh, Mr. Vinidictus Vanagas uh, from Europe to East and then back. Well, what, what do you think on this story? Well, theoretically, maybe yes. Uh, yes, it car uh, would have been a good idea. But uh, on the one hand, uh, yes, it is driving for overdrive, and uh, Nasser and Benedicta Svanagas uh, are driving for Gazoo, uh, as Benedicta uh, uh, Gazoo Racing Baltics. And uh, maybe this is the reason, or the other reason uh, can be that uh, yes, it's car maybe was not in the shape uh, or not as good shape as as uh, uh, Vanagas's car uh, after the Abu Dhabi Desert Challenge because uh, there were less than two weeks before uh, between the two events. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay, but then there is a hell of a story about these uh, tires and strategy. Oh yes. The- <laughs> Uh, one of the most interesting rules for for this year that uh, according to the rules that T uh, one FIA priority drivers can use only ten uh, tires uh, for the prologue and for the two stages all together, and uh, Qatar is is very demanding on tires because it's a uh, really a rough track and and uh, damaging the tires totally destroying them uh, in each stage practically. And also there's a high risk of uh, punctures. So it will be very, very interesting for for priority drivers uh, who can uh, uh, only use 10 tires. And And this makes makes things harder for for Nasser. But on the other hand, uh, his, I think, main driver, Hall of Cheats, uh, is not on the priority list. So he's not limited to these 10 tires. And why? And and he's basically we can say that he's the main rival to Nasser, yeah. And why he's not? Yes, and the legend. Because because of the rules. Because uh, on the one hand, he won the European Cup in uh, twenty twenty one, and the uh, the priority is for European Cup winner twenty twenty two. And on the other hand, uh, he hasn't participated in in the Dakar Rally for the past I don't know how many years, may, maybe since uh, twenty fifteen or twenty sixteen. So this is why he doesn't have a priority uh, for the moment. But I think uh, this would change after this season. <laughs> okay, well, we will see. Uh, then uh, where else is going to be an interesting fight? Which categories? Uh, maybe T3 again, it will be the most interesting. At least it, it pro- promises to be the most interesting. Uh, first of all, uh, from the missing drivers, uh, I missed the one name, Saleh Al Saif, because he's on the entry list and he is the, the leader in T3 uh, with uh, 38 points. Uh, and he is there, maybe, uh, his car is definitely there, but he won't drive it. So he won't start, at least uh, according to our on site information. <laughs> And uh, a Qatari driver uh, will drive his car, uh, Mohamed uh, An Alatea. I, I just hope th- uh, that I pronounce the name well because uh, I'm not sure. Uh, the second place in the World Cup is uh, Fernando Alvarez, and, and he will be there. Uh, he has 30 points in the championship now, and Dania Kiel, uh, she has uh, 25 points. Uh, both are driving Canons uh, prepared by Self Racing. Uh, they are definitely. 
among the top contenders for the category. But there is also Case Pollen, who is fourth at the moment. But uh, in, uh, in the previous rallies, uh, he had some problems. He had to get used to the car. He's driving G rallies OT3. So it's a little bit different from what he has driven for the past, uh, past season, practically. Uh, and he has shown his speed already. So if he has no problems, uh, he can be there at the top. So that's, uh, I don't know, maybe should should be talking uh, about Middle East Championship. Uh, yes, there are many, many local drivers uh, uh, entered in the Middle East Championship. Uh, and uh, those include two former T2 World Cup winners uh, who are trying their hands uh, in the T3 category now uh, and for the first time, Adel Abdullah and uh, Mohamed Almer. And it's also interesting to mention uh, Abdulaziz Sadun al uh, who is a, a real multi-talent in sports because uh, he was uh, on the national team of Qatar in tennis. Uh, he played football in the first league of Qatar. And uh, he's now the uh, member of the national team in pedo. So and really a man of lots of talents, yeah? <laughs> yes, yes. And he competed in, in uh, WRC2. And uh, I think he was also runner-up in the championship uh, in WRC2 in, uh, some years ago. So okay. looking, looking forward to seeing him. <laughs> yeah, sounds, sounds interesting. Uh, so then maybe the last question uh, for today, and it's about uh, FIM. Uh, entry list, and we are asking uh, Michal Algunheim, uh, who is, by the way, uh, has won our Cross Country Rallies Made the Best Interview Award in Hail, so he was the first winner. Hi, Cross Country uh, Rally fans. Uh, we're here at the Qatar International Baja. We have a very impressive uh, starting list at the FIM uh, Round 2 uh, World Cup. Uh, I've never seen an entry list this impressive, honestly. We've got about 54 riders in total, about 50 motorcycle riders and four quads from all kinds of nationalities. I think the Qataris really uh, gave a very, very good hospitality and uh, sent out a lot of very good invites to a lot of competitors from all around the world. And we really thank the Qatari Federation for what they did because they've hosted us uh, more than generously. They paid for our flight tickets, they paid our entry fees, they've put us in hotels and this is un unspoken of really. And uh, we get spoiled here in the Qatari thing. So for all you others uh, missing out, uh, hopefully maybe we see you next year. But uh, we've got... Uh, People that are top riders from the Dakar, people top riders from uh, the local and regional community. Uh, top of the list, of course, Mohamed Belushi, Martin Chalmers, Conrad, and the young guys. There's a few guys coming up uh, hot in the juniors, like Jonathan Finn and Alec McKins. Uh, well, it's a very, very complete list. Uh, there's a bunch of Italian guys and a few guys from the UK. And unfortunately, I'm not a lot of Saudis. I'm the only guy on the motorcycles and one guy on a quad. That's it. So I don't know why, but uh, we should see more Saudis in this race next time. So I think it's uh, more or less uh, all for now, uh, at least uh, for a brief summary of Qatar uh, International Baja 2023. Uh, we'll be waiting for Sveta's reports, videos, interviews, um, and we are sending an official video uh, invitation to the drivers, co-drivers, I don't know, team managers uh, to join our future conversations because we are planning to do this on a regular basis and uh, uh, once again, we uh, invite all of you people to cross uh, country rally group chat uh, to discuss, I don't know, to participate, to ask questions, uh, to share your thoughts, emotions, videos, etc. Uh, let's make rally raid races more interesting together.